Tuesday. I'm trying to speak quietly because we have a visitor in our house and I don't want to make me sound like I'm a weirdo. But my new washi tapes from Wish came. Um, if you guys don't know, um, I actually get all of my Animu washi tape from Wish. So it came. And apparently it came from some guy that has an American name and Wish is from China. So go figure. They came in their own separate boxes. Yeah. They came in their own separate boxes. Um, I'm excited to show you guys what they look like. Um, because one of them I had in my cart for a while. And then another one I found randomly. Um, and I was like, yo, I really want it. So, eat. So the first one that I got, oh my gosh, this is legit so cute. It's actually a washi tape. I'll show you guys from the other way around. But it's actually a washi tape that has like random characters on it. It's anime characters, um, regular cartoon characters making really funny faces. You're not really going to be able to see it, but there's Sasuke right there. It's super cute. And I'm like, this is the most randomest washi tape I found, but I have to get it because it's kind of funny. Here's the last one, which I was very much so excited to find on Wish. Um, I actually tried to order something from Alibaba, but I didn't really have any luck because I really want to kind of do like a comparison of Alibaba against, against not Alibaba, AliExpress, that's what it is, against Wish because a lot of people order from that website and I'm like, I've never ordered from that website. <laughs> So I'm just like, let me try ordering from both sites because I've ordered from Wish countless times and I love Wish. Wish is legit. Um, so if anyone's skeptical of ordering from Wish, I would say go do it because I love Wish. Wish is awesome. But anyways, so my next washi tape is one that I was really happy to find. Um, is actually, if again you can see it, I just noticed that these both have striped patterning. I just noticed that. And Seaways. Um, this is actually a Seven Deadly Sin washi tape. Like, oh my gosh, how cute is this? You're gonna have to see it from the other way around. But yeah, I find a set I found a Seven Deadly Sin washi tape. It's so cute. So 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 cute. Okay, so here's the random cartoon character washi tape. It's adorable. So, okay, so you see there's Bubbles. Not Bubbles, Buttercup. Oh my gosh. There's Mikasa. There's Bart. And then there's Sasuke. And then there's Goku. And Artemis. So it's like random characters. I don't know if it's the same characters, repeat, but I think it's different ones. So it's not really repetitive. I think it is repetitive once you get down to it. But um, yeah, so this is the random character <laughs> washi tape, which is kind of hilarious. Um, and then here is the Seven Deadly Sin washi tape, which needs to focus. So yeah. Here's the Seven Deadly Sin one. So there's Bon, Deanne, Bon Lane, um, Escanor. I don't know why his name blanked out on me. Um, there's Merlin and Elizabeth Dan. I think Meliodas is under this because <laughs> I don't see Meliodas. If this tape does not have Meliodas on it, it's, we're going to have an issue. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So this is the progress of my closet being cleaned. We pretty much cleaned out all of it, just vacuumed and everything. So we just got to move not all of this, but just a few of the things back in here. But other than that, we're Gucci. Current process. No. Okay. So my brother's vacuuming. So this is the current situation. So that's trash. And we're moving my bed to that side, that, that wall. 
Yeah, it's a whole day's worth of work, and I'm gonna hate it because I gotta move everything back in its original position, and it's gonna suck. Anyways, once we finish vacuuming and moving my bed over, we're gonna move my PlayStation 4 to the wall where my bed was because it gives us a lot more space to work with. So my room really isn't gonna change because my bed has been my bed my bed has been on that wall before but it's been a while ago it's been on the wall since before i got into youtube so you guys haven't seen it so it's not really a big change the only big change is just that my ps4 is going to be on that wall instead of the back wall <laughs> so i'll show you the final result once we're finished but we're done vacuuming okay back to the cleanup Okay, so change of plans. So originally we were going to move my bed over here, but we kind of figured out with the orientation of my room, it's just going to make less room. It's going to be the same, but it's going to make less room. So in a sense, instead of my TV being here, it will be right here. And then this wall will be my bed and it will sit here and block this which is not okay. I can start putting my figures back. I just remember that. But anyway, so we're just going to keep it like it is. My brother, when he gets finished vacuuming, um, we're going to move my TV back in here. But pretty much we cleaned under my bed. Everything's clean. <laughs> like, my window's clean. I have to thank my brother, though, because he took his sweet precious time to help me clean. So I might pay him. I'll give him some money for helping. But, um... That's it. So I can put my figures back on the shelf while I wait for him. Alrighty guys, so I got pretty much all of my figures back on the shelf. I really feel like I'm missing some. Am I tripping or am I tripping? I feel like I'm tripping, but this is how it looks. It looks pretty much the same. Um, the only key difference is that <clears throat> we moved this dresser over a little bit because um, it's easier for me to get into my closet now. So we moved this over a little bit. It's really not a big difference if you don't really pay attention to the placement of my room. <laughs> but yeah, it's moved over a little bit so I can easily just get to my dresser. Uh, not dresser. Um, whatever closet a lot better but it's pretty much the same <laughs> uh, just gotta clean up because it's a mess right now <laughs> but I'm so hungry like I'm not even kidding I'm really hungry <laughs> but um, I'll eat after I clean all this up alrighty guys it is Saturday morning like almost 4 to be precise Um, I literally have like a meeting at work in zero point like it's at 9 30 it's almost four so like five hours we'll have to wake up around like 8 30 so I have legit four hours of sleep but i finished um one of the october days i got requested to do from my friend Brittany, who was named Ms. Venomous Cupcake here on YouTube. Um, my other friend, Blue Green Fishy, they always, they always, oh my gosh, they also requested a Inktober day. So I'm trying to do like both of those Inktober requested days. Um, because, um, requested days kind of keep me on my toes to kind of do things for people's you know so i'm pretty much done with my friend Brittany's request um the guy really won't take long to color as well because he has white hair and everything else is colored but his hair is just white which is a beautiful deal because i like coloring well i don't like coloring white hair i just like the simplicity of white hair because it's really nothing to offer finish don't say no i actually i'm not trying to say it was bad or whatever but i don't know i don't i, I don't know i just feel so bad for leon and pop but at the end of the last episode it says it's gonna have another special episode so hopefully leon and pop will have their happy ending in the special episode which i think comes out next friday so i'm excited for that but i watched that I legit almost cried
Because <laughs> Leon and Pop. So it was a good, it was a really good episode. Um, and yeah, I liked it. So I would recommend Don't Say No. Again, I don't know why people put it as like a 7.8. That drama at least deserves an 8.5. It's really good. I don't know why people said it sucked. People are weird, weird these days. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. It is Monday um, afternoon. I do not know why I did not start watching Game Boys until now because it's so cute. Like I'm episode four. I don't know how many episodes there are in season one. There may be thirteen, I believe. But they're so short that they honestly could have like thirty episodes in one season. But I love this drama, guys. It's so good. It's kind of based off quarantine and how these two guys chat through vo video calls, Facebook me Messenger, and all that stuff. It's legit the ideal COVID relationship. <laughs> but better! It's so good! I don't want to spoil it for any of you who has not seen Game Boys. This is so good. So, 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 so good. Um, again, episode four is glorious. I love it. Love it. <laughs> And he is like such a flirter that is like ridiculous. But he's cute though. He's very cute. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on. Ah, and hopefully I could get him on a bigger screen if it pops up with him bigger. So yeah. Seconds later, look at him. He is so cute. I can't even. I cannot even. He's so cute. And he has one dimple on this side. He is so cute. They're a cute pair. I love it. Ah, I, I can't. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. Guys, I'm not even kidding. He, well, Kai, Cairo is eating Tostitos. I'm eating Tostitos. I guess today was the day I was meant to watch this. Because, boy, that's if that's not a coincidence, I would not give it up. Alrighty, guys. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I'm currently repackaging up Dominica's birthday gift. It's not even a birthday gift anymore. It's almost November. Her birthday was in August. It's just a gift at this point. But I'm redoing it because I sent it out. It got sent back to me because Customs was like, hmm. You're not really telling the truth of what's in here because I use a regular package mailer and it was heavy due to the cardboard I put into it. Alrighty guys, so I just got called into work. Um I love my manager, he's cute. <laughs> he was like, come in, you could have tomorrow off, and I'm like, okay. Alright, so I gotta go to work. I gotta let my brother know that I'm working today so he can pick me up. But yeah. Unexpected turn of events, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I just got off work, but there's the job. There's the job. Is my brother is getting gas at the gas station um, beside my work. Hold on. It's kind of hard to vlog here because there's a lot of people that come to this gas station. But luckily, on a Tuesday, it's not as busy. It's that when cars are coming through the drive-thru at my job. But, um, I had to cover for somebody today because today was my day off. Um, so I covered for the person. And, um, so tomorrow I have my day off. So I get my day off tomorrow. And then Thursday and Friday are just regular days, which is Gucci. Um, but yeah, just wanted to vlog. And say that's that. That's the thing. That's what's happening. Oh, and my phone's about to die. But yep, that's what that is. Actually, this is how busy my job gets. Well, this is a Tuesday. Tuesdays are never busy, so you know I should get this angle when it's like a Wednesday or like a Friday. It's booming, but for a Tuesday, it's not that busy at all. Guys, I'm watching a new Filipino BL drama called Like in the Movies. Um, you cannot, if you guys have not seen Dark Blue Kiss or Kiss Me Again, you might not know this actor. But if you've seen those dramas, please don't tell me this guy does not look like Tay Tawan, who played Pete in those dramas. They look exactly alike, and it scares me. 
Like, oh my gosh. When his hair up, it's more noticeable because Tay Tawan keeps his hair up. But when it's down, it's still noticeable. But you cannot tell me he doesn't look like the Filipino twin of Tay Tawan. Like, oh my gosh. And I'll put, I hopefully I can edit it so I can put a picture of Tay Tawan on the screen so you can see how similar they look like. But yeah. Tay Tawan, I found your long lost twin. Alrighty guys, it's Friday night. I'm gonna take the bow out the back of my hair. Oh god, this looks so good. <laughs> my hair is braided anyway. I don't know how long that's gonna stay. But anyways, I'm home from a long, tiring day. We got packed. <laughs> we got slammed. And I'm actually quite happy that because I was up front and wasn't as busy for my shift, but as soon as night shift came, boy, that's when the real pack started coming. <laughs> so I'm like, yes. But anyway, he's uh, my brother was nice enough to get me snacks. So thank you, bro. Ham. But anyways, I kind of want to declutter this for like the hundredth time. And I'm watching Bailey's new vlog, so yeet. Anyways, that's that. I got my gouache. My white gouache is up there. I don't feel like getting it. But yeah, I ordered some more white gouache because my Himi gouache, um, the white is actually kind of not running low, but I think having a tube gouache is easier because I could easily squirt it out and just mix with the colors. Um, so I think that'll be a lot easier for me personally so i'm gonna get a move on with cleaning this out because bruh guys um i don't know why but i really like this drawing of foo and i don't know why i never made it a print well at least a special edi edition print i did it all with watercolor pencil that's the reason why it has like a super soft effect but man, I don't know why I never made this a print. And it's two years old, so it's not like it's ancient. But I really like this. Like, Narelle, why? Maybe I could make it still a print because it's cute. It may be like two years old, but I think it's cute enough to make a really cute print. Guys, I'm like shook. Vicky has Tarn type on here. Like, I don't know. That's not a shocking statement, but Tarn type? Bruh, like, I'm pretty sure all Thailand BL dramas are moving to Vicky. I'm like, yo, I'm so shook that Vicky is getting a lot of good BL dramas on here. I really was not expecting Tarn Type to pop up on Vicky. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you guys. I was not expecting to see Tarn Type. Punta ba ba tayo sa party? <laughs> Why not? Oh, I'm so happy we finally got the kiss moment! <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's November 1st, time to get out of the spooky month, so in a one, and a two, and a three, and a go. Hopefully I'm not grabbing two pages, okay. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. Ah, there we go. I got it. Bam. Um, I made a sale on my Etsy shop. Someone finally bought my Kuroko bookmark. So I got a package that up. I'm not going to ship it off till Thursday. So hopefully the person's Gucci with that. But anyways, I'm like excited that I got one more sale on my shop booth hey guys so i feel like i just want to do like a little packing montage with you guys so um i normally use my four by six uh glass sleeves um for my orders i'm running out of these like i'm surprised i am because i think i ordered like a hundred of these maybe 200 like honestly guys this is all that i have left which is probably not even 10 so um, i'm gonna have to order more which is a good thing. So, I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but they ordered my Kuroko bookmark, which is cute. So, I got that out. And in this little binder, I have my prints. Um, my store print is Azalea, which I put her name here, right there, Azalea. So, I'm going to go ahead and get her out right now. I just give 
a free print to all my store orders. Um, any words of the wise, I would just say give out something for free um, in all of your orders because it, it makes people come back and buy things from you. So yeah, it looks cute. Looks really cute. And I put my merch in front of the print so the person can see what they're getting, which is what's the point of it. Shoot. I think Kuroko's too big. Oh my gosh. I hate when this happens when my merch is too big for the thing. I hate when this happens. Luckily, with my bookmarks, I could easily cut the laminate a little bit to make them fit. I cut a little bit off. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, sometimes you gotta do this with your items, okay, I got it down. So it looks like that, in front of the print, and then on the back I put a business card, um, I updated my business cards, I showed you guys these, but just for another show through, these are my newer ones, my other ones was Ico, but I upgraded it to my character Masa, just to kind of advertise my comic a little bit. And then I put my ins my info here because it's always nice to put all of your info on your the back of your um, business card. Um, I put my actual Instagram there, and I put my store Instagram, and then I put my Etsy shop. Of course, the person is buying from your Etsy shop, but what if they're just like, I want to give, I want to, you know, give this to my friend to check out this girl's artwork, and they want anything. That's the point of this. So, I put these on the back of the print and the merch. And it helps having a pen to push it back because it's hard to do it this way. Okay. And also, with this, um, I give a free sticker, which I'm going to put you guys on pause right quick. Hopefully my phone does not die, but um, I have all my stickers in here, um, but I do have some stickers that are ones that are not selling anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and look in here and get a free one out right quick. I should just give Azalea as a free sticker because no one's buying her at all, so I might just make this the free sticker of each package. So I might just give out Azalea. <laughs> I really don't mean to get stickers for people not to buy them, which is actually quite sad. But I think Azalea would make a cute free print, so I might make Azalea the free print for my orders. I just got to take her off my shop, which is kind of sad. But anyways, I think if I make OC stickers, they're just going to be the freebie of the month or whatever. So here's Azalea sticker. Bam, and I put it behind the business card because it makes it look like a surprise, you know? So you're like, oh my gosh, there's my order. And then you flip to the back, oh my gosh, I got a free sticker, you know? <laughs> um, just kind of to reenact if that's how people over my stuff are like. And then the sleeves self-seal. And if my phone does not die at this point, um, I actually bought me a huge um, Super Mario coloring. That's, it's a sticker book. It's a sticker book. And it has a lot of Mario stickers in it. Like a lot. So I put these on the back of these. I'm um, using this one right here. I don't know if this is a guy or a girl. I should have looked at their info. But that's that. And then I wrap this with the tissue paper and all that good stuff. So that is how I package my orders. Just to kind of clip. Not clip. Just to kind of a quick flip through or show through of how I package my orders. Everyone's packaging is different. But um, this is how I do it. That's all I gotta say. And then I write my thank you note on this. I need to order me another one of these because I'm literally on the last ones. And my actual other ones are the Sailor Moon ones, but those are being sold in my shop. So I need to make another freebie one. But for right now, that is how I make my packages. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday afternoon. I'm currently having the next episode of Heaven Official Blessings Render right now. Because I need to get it up. I haven't uploaded a video on my React channel in like three weeks. I didn't feel like it was that long, but apparently it was. Um, it's just that editing the videos is... It doesn't take a long time, but it's like a time straight where I have to watch the episode to be like, yo, take out, take out, take out, and just keep the main parts of the episode, which is kind of like saddening because I wish I could upload the full episode, but um, this 
the animation company has very strict copyrights with this series, so I have to edit it down so much that it's really not the full episode. So I guess if you want to look at the full episodes, go look up, go look at them on your own. But I'm just reacting to it. I'm not going to show everything. So luckily enough, I do just highlight the important bits that you need to see. Um, and legit, that literally takes out like eight minutes worth of the episode, which sucks because you know that's a lot of time out of an episode but it's the only thing only way i can upload these without getting copyright striked I literally was watching episodes like three episodes a day and i was getting really tired i think i have like two episodes left which i could have finished by now but i just really wanted to take a break from reacting to this anime but yeah and then there's a k-drama for this but i've been told by my lovely commenters on my react channel saying hey it's a whole biography to this so what you're reacting to has nothing to do with what the story is you gotta watch that you gotta read that it's just a whole series and i'm like i don't got time for that and i honestly do not want to react to the k-drama because that k-drama is legit 50 episodes long so i don't know maybe i can make like a special thing on patreon where i could just react to the k-drama version i don't know patreon is just meant for special content so i don't want to make two different patrons one for my react and the other one for whatever i don't think i showed you this yet but i did a together screenshot redraw and i want to show it to you because i'm going to make this a speed paint with the Hemi gouache because i love together so i think i'm going to make this the, the official Hemi gouache video i want to show you what this looks like i completely didn't show it to you yesterday my bad but yeah i'm <laughs> gonna show it to you now all right so here's how it looks looks like i think i did show you i don't think i did but yeah so um if you guys have not seen still together i technically am kind of spoiling it but it's whatever but this isn't really an importance it is important but it's not important enough to spoil the whole season for you but um this is on tyne's birthday and um it's actually official merch where bright and win got plushies of them and win is poking um bright well tyne <laughs> is poking and Sadawa on the cheek with his plushie and I think that was really cute so I actually drew that scene because I think Sadawa got tying the plushies as like a gift I have not seen still together in a while so a lot of the moments is kind of like iffy on me but that's what I drew so this is going to be the video for the Hemi Gouache and hopefully it'll turn out good <laughs> Alrighty guys, it is Tuesday night. Um, I just finished this craft box top of Minyunji, which is the girl version of Sugar. This literally looks like the girl from Squid Games. I promise, guys, it's not the girl from Squid Games. I hope no one says that, because <laughs> it's really not. This is the top for it, so it's like that. Um, I'm gonna have to make a background color. I was thinking blue. I was thinking like a blue color for the background. I was thinking like this blue color, like something not bright, because Sugar's not a bright color personality person. So I'm gonna do like a muted blue for the background. And yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I finished the background to Menu G. And yeah, it's kind of messy there, but it's fine totally fine but finish the background here i think what's really going to pop it out is gel pen gel pen is always the magic of doing things but look at that ain't that cute i feel like if i painted all the sides white it would have gave it more of a pop but i'm really not in the mood for that to be honest so i'm going to add the gel pen and i'll come back with the final result Alrighty guys, so I finished the box of Minyoon G. So there's the top. And then, get off of here. And then I did stripes around the box. Um, I did do a top stripes, but of course the top covers it. But yeah, this is the box. Bam. I turned out really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. That's the sad part about it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And it's all dry. Ain't nothing going to 
mess with it. But it would have been nice if I did have, like, Mod Podge to seal it, to make it, like, safe safe. But I got rid of mine, so I can't really do much about it. But it's, like, really cute. Alrighty, guys. I look like a hot mess. I always look like a hot mess. I actually had my hair in two bun buns um, over Thanksgiving because my sister likes giving me hairstyles that I don't wear. So this is the last part about that hairstyle that I kept. But just imagine my hair in two puff balls. That's what it looked like. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you guys liked it. I'm um, getting to the point where I'm being smart about my vlogs and just taking out stuff that I'm like, Narelle, that's totally irrelevant. So I'm trying to make my vlogs make sense now and not not make sense. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. So if you guys like this vlog, give it a like. Um, comment down what you thought about it in my comment box below. And if you have anything else you'd like to say to me, um, comment it down <laughs> below. So like always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.